we've just left Salinas and we're going to Culebra. We're going overnight because uh, there's a, well, you go for night leaves and there's a weather window. So we'll get there early, first thing in the morning. It'll be Sunday morning. And then uh, we'll tuck in like to a nice little anchorage there and there's a front that's moving through with like 35 knot gusts the next day. So we'll just stay there for a little bit. So this will be, we're leaving mainland Puerto Rico and we're going to one of the Spanish Virgin Islands. Glebra Vallecas is the other. Um, and even though the Spanish Virgin Islands are belong to Puerto Rico, which still belong to the United States, so it's confusing whether or not still just part of the U.S. Virgin Islands. But we're gonna go because they're Virgin Islands. So we'll be there in about 12 hours, and still it's all upwind. So there's gonna be upwind swell and wind that's too close hauled to actually sail. It'll be a motor sail with the sail stabilizing us, but it will only be like seven knots of of, of true wind. At least that's the plan. Hopefully it's not too choppy out there. Got to Calabra. Roosters are going. Everyone's sleeping. And Kira's awake, so I'm awake. <laughs> it was a rough passage. But glad to be here. So we are at Culebra Island and mom and dad went into town to explore. So Kira and I are playing in the Tupperware with the water out in the transom. We got a pretty gorgeous view today. Yesterday it rained all day, so we literally did nothing. Um, but today is really nice. Check it out. Kira. It's a waterfall. <laughs> We are at Culebra. I actually did this intro one time before and the audio didn't work. Hopefully it's working now. Recently, we went to Playa Flamenco, which is a famous beach in Culebra here. It's like one of the world's top 10 beaches rated every now and then, and it's pretty cool. We can see why. Um, a beautiful beach, it's got, uh, it's on the north northeast shore, so it's not protected from the predominant swell and wind here, especially after a storm. But there's uh, these, it's really interesting because Culebra used to be like a testing ground for the military, I guess. And there are tanks. There's US, there's like mil tanks, just a tank on the beach and a tank right behind the beach. So you can climb around on it they're all graffiti, which is super fun. But anyways, yeah, we've been, we are in Culebra just for a little bit before we move on to St. Thomas. Culebra is one of the Spanish Virgin Islands, which I think there's like just a couple. The two big ones are Culebra and Vallecas, and they belong to Puerto Rico, which in turn belongs to the US. So that's the tank. There's people here now, but we did a little photo session with it. And now we're gonna move on. There's a secondary tank, and then we're gonna go to some snorkeling. We gotta get done before my workday starts. The girls are practicing headstands right now. I don't know why. There you go, there you go. Ooh, you burp. Yeah, you're getting better. The, they used to do like uh, military testing out here and there's a whole bunch of, they haven't cleared past this fence so there could be unexploded ordnance. So you could basically be walking through there and step on something that's still explosive and blow your leg off. Probably won't happen, but it's a non-zero chance. to Culebrita, which is Little Culebra, fun fact. And there's supposed to be a cool lighthouse and some tide pools and maybe some decent snorkeling. So we're gonna go check it out for the day. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> so today we have come to Culebrita, which is the Little Culebra and we're gonna go hike up to the lighthouse 
And there are baths or tide pools on the far side of the island that we're going to try to find and explore. So that's today's plan. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah goats, Kira. <laughs> no. Yeah, goats. Mm -hmm. Culebrita is a small, uninhabited island off the eastern coast of Culebra. It is a nature reserve and is part of the Culebra National Wildlife Refuge. The island is home to Culebrita Lighthouse, one of the oldest lighthouses in the Caribbean. It's only accessible by private boat from the main island of Culebra. Colabrita Lighthouse is the only remaining Spanish era structure in the area. The Spanish crown built the lighthouse to help secure its claim over the main island of Culebra. It is one of the oldest operating lighthouses in the Caribbean until 1975 when the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard closed the facility. In 1989, Hurricane Hugo caused extensive damage and in 1995, the tower was destroyed by Hurricane Maryland. Presently, the lighthouse is in danger of collapsing. There's St. Thomas. After a little bit of a misadventure, we get to the lighthouse, abandoned. It's pretty cool. Always fun to get to an abandoned building, and this one's a lighthouse. Whew. Take a look. Looks like some time and money went into building this thing. It's like a little castle. We even got marble floors. It's a big building. So we missed the lighthouse when we were at Caja de Muertos, the uh, Coffin Island, because of that misadventure in the previous video. So it's nice we get to explore this one. This one's actually really big, like lots of rooms. I'm not entirely sure why they needed so many rooms, but uh, cool. Considering climbing up, but I don't think it's safe. These bricks are just like falling apart, which is I guess why they just abandon it, because it's probably a total rebuild to make it work. And it's not worth it. Obviously the boards are off for Yeah, I see the bricks. Here. Hey Karen! <laughs> Karen Kelsey! <laughs> it's like it seems more open than it was. To make sure she's like not picking up goat poop. Yeah, is that all she's got in her hand right now? No. Einstein. It's only a little sketchy. I mean, she's gotta it's be like calm. When you're uh, climbing a ladder three feet from the ground. It seems like the easiest thing ever. <laughs> then once you get 30 feet up, all of a sudden you question how well you can climb ladders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could jump from there. I could. <laughs> <laughs> 10 point landing. Sticks the landing. I'd love to own this island. <laughs> 360 view of all these different islands and water. I put grass and palm trees. I can dream. <laughs> To an intersection. It's like, oh, nice tropical beach, but then also like Wiccan witchcraft yeah, sacrifices. What? No With what? a hair clip. And a hair clip. <laughs> Getting fancy. I was yeah. fancy that way. The way we should go to, to the go. left. Look at all the crab tracks. What do you think, Kira? Lots of crab tracks, huh? So we're going to the baths, uh, Uncle Abrita. We just walked a little bit. Nice beach. Bunch of boats here, but there seems to be some north swell, so everybody's rocking. Uh, we're gonna walk like another few minutes around the corner, and there should be good tide pools. We'll see. I, I need it. I'm hot and worn out, so I need to sit down for a minute. There's the lighthouse. We just went to beautiful beach. So we made it to the bubble baths at long last. I think we screwed up by not bringing water. We're all thirsty. But we're here. This one's just a bath. Over there is more bubbly. So we're going to check out 
this beautiful place. It's a little bit out of the way. Definitely all a little bit tired of walking, but uh, we made it here. So let's enjoy it for a minute. Is the day we go to the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's about a four-hour sail from here. It's not that hard. Upwind, as usual, but it's only late upwind, like 10 knots upwind. Three-foot swell, so hopefully it's not so bad. We're going from Culebra, so that's the uh, Spanish island that belongs to Puerto Rico, Spanish Virgin Island, and uh, yeah, it's just not that far. So it'll be a nice motor sail, probably. Uh, we'll have the sails up at least for stabilization purposes. Yeah. 